Well, in today's in today's Finding Forever, we have two very happy updates. We're so excited to tell you about this. Two of the kids that we've profiled this segment, uh, which we've been doing for a year now, one has found a forever home and one is on the way to making that happen. Joining us this morning, the community engagement specialist uh, with ASK is Josie Gake. And good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. We uh, work together on our shoots and you guys kind of help coordinate. Uh, so for a year now, through this Finding Forever series, we've introduced our viewers to children who are in the foster care system looking for their own home, a loving family, and we have a great update, which is great because I've had viewers, I've had co-anchors say, hey, you know, what's up with some of these kids you, you featured? So. Um, we're going to talk about Leah. That's right. Leah, uh, we featured back in December. We took her to a horse ranch. Really sweet, loving, kind girl. And shortly after her taping, shortly after it aired, um, a family friend actually reached out and said, hey, you know what? We know Leah, and we think she would actually be a really great fit for our family. And she moved in with them, and then behind the scenes, unbeknown to Leah, the family actually took those steps forward into that adoption process, and they were able to surprise her and let her know, this is your family, this is your home, you're ours now. Oh, that is so exciting. We were, uh, I think, Robinson Ranch in yes. South Phoenix. Uh, Leah said she loves sports and music and animals. And during the interview, she told me that um, you know, she was okay with any family, but she really wanted a family to call her own, and she just wanted to have someone care for her. So the family uh, who adopted her, they kept this kind of secret, and they recorded a video. And uh, we have that video for you this morning. We want to show you this is the moment Leah found out that she was going to join this family and have her forever home. Take a look. The other one's dropping. Hey, she can't see! Christy! Christy! I mean, she, she couldn't even contain herself, immediately thrown into tears. They had a t-shirt, um, I don't know exactly what it said, but it basically alerted her that you're now part of the family. What is it like, I mean, we saw with Leah, um, for a child to find out that the, the tumultuous life in a foster home maybe coming to a close. Oh, and how can you not be emotional when you see something like that and when you're a child who has spent years waiting for that forever family? Um, Leah and so many other children who are in Arizona's foster care system, all they want is somebody who shows up for them, someone who will be there when, you know, maybe they get a bad grade on their test and will tell them, you know what, that's okay, we're going to work through this, and someone who will, you know, be their biggest cheerleader when they make that home run uh, at the baseball game. Whatever it is that families do, that's all these children want and they want to feel included and have that strong relationship with a parental figure. And the need is fantastic. Is it 13? thousand kids? Yeah, we're right around that 13,000 mark and unfortunately we only have about 3,000 licensed foster homes in wow. the state of Arizona. So a lot of these children, um, like Leah, like other children we have featured, have been living in group homes. So they're living with staff, they're living with a great number of other children. Right. They're not getting that one-on-one -on -one attention. And every uh, child that I talk to in the series, and we feature 30 kids, which is kind of wild, wild. to think, they don't say I need, I need this. They never talk about these material things. Mm -hmm. They say I just want love. Yes, it's never I want, you know, PS5 or the newest sneakers or right. anything like that. It's, uh, you know, Wesson, one of the first children that we featured, he said that he wanted someone to tell him to go do the dishes and do his homework. Things that, you know, <laughs> teenagers may not necessarily want to do, but, but for him and many other children, that's all they're looking for. Uh, this is Wesson. I remember this kid fondly. Funny kid. Uh, our, our aspiring rapper, we were at School of Rock, Alice Cooper's uh, little music deal there, and he was belting out these bars, a really great kid. We have uh, some good news about him. We do, so Weston was one of the first children that we featured for Finding Forever, and he has found his forever home. The adoption is gonna be finalized soon. Um, he's found a great family to call his own, um, and everyone is really excited for him, and you know, maybe down the line we can do an update with his new family and, and check in and see how wonderful it's going for him. That's great. We don't want to rush things. You know, no. these things take time and we don't want to kind of put the cart before the horse mm -hmm. on these. So we'll wait to get the, you know, actual confirmation. Thank you so much, Josie, thank you. Uh, for these wonderful updates. And thank you all to the viewers who have uh, kind of been rooting for these kids. If you head to our website, azfamily.com, Finding Forever, you can see all of the kids we featured. You can learn more about Ask and the process of adoption. There's a great, great need out there. And I'm telling you, I've met 
all these kids. I try to be at every single shoot. They are wonderful, and uh, they just want what we all want in life, and that is love. So fantastic to see some of those developments.